Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more problem regarding to the root locus. First, we will read down the problem. The problem is the system shown in figure s equal minus 2.75 lies on the root locus value of the k is. So he given s s value that means it may be you, you can consider it may be some pole it is on minus 2.75 okay lies on the root locus it, it is on the root locus if we draw the root locus we will get that value and he is asked to find out the value of the k so here first if any one any s value sorry any value any point is on the root locus generally it, it can get the two points one is if any point s lies on the root locus lies on the root locus then it should follow the two conditions what is the condition the magnitude at s point s equal for example it, it should take some s1 if the magnitude value is 1 and phase phase value for this particular point s equal s1 it should be plus or minus 180 it should follow these two condition in this first we should take we should take first the open loop transfer function so here the open loop transfer function equaled is represented g of s into h of s so that value we can write look at here so this is generally this combined combination of these two gains we have the g of s and here h of s is the 10 so that's why we can write we can write this k into s plus 3 by s plus 2 s plus 2 so here s plus 3 s plus 2 is the into and h of s is the 10 so finally we can write this value is g of s h of s value is value is so k into s plus 3 by s plus 2 into 10 s plus 3 into 10 so i will use this condition this condition is magnitude magnitude of the root locus at this point is 1 because he mentioned this point s1 so this this point s is lies on the root locus so by using that concept i will write like this so here g of s h of s yet s equal to he mentioned already minus 2.75 minus 2.75 okay yeah and substitute in this value so 10 into k into s plus 3 by s plus 2 at magnitude s equal to minus 2.75 is e magnitude is equal to 1 so substitute all these values so here 10 into k into minus 2.75 plus 3 by minus 2.75 plus 2 equal to 1 so by solving this we will finally get the k value is approximately equal to the 0.3 approximately equal to 0.3 so this is the model this model is very simple the model is he give some s value and he will give some transfer function by the block diagram and he, in order to give that some confusion he will give two blocks that time you, you will take into the single open loop transfer function the open loop transfer function this is you should you should take this is h of s and you should take this is the g of s and the combination of g of s and h of s you should write after that you will follow the 
the common rule that is a pole lies on the root locus it should have magnitude equal to 1 and phase equal to plus or minus 180 okay so go for the next problem here the next problem is open loop transfer function of unity feedback system g of s equal to k into s plus 4 by s plus 8 into s square minus 9 the value of the gain k greater than 0 for which minus 1 plus 2j lies on the root locus so it is the same model as the previous problem so here once again write the data the given problem g of s and he mentioned the unity feedback system so uh, that's why g of s into h of s equal k into s plus 4 by s plus e 8 into s square minus 9 into 1 so no change with the 1 same problem a point lies on the root locus it should follow the two it should follow the two rules first rule is magnitude equal 1 at s equal to s1 so we will take s1 is this value the s1 equal minus 1 plus 2j and minus 1 plus 2j equal to 1 so here we will write the magnitude k into s plus 4 by s plus 8 into s square minus 9 at s equal to minus 1 plus 2j that magnitude value will be 1 ok so we should substitute all these values in this equation so I will substitute these values we will get this is k minus 1 plus 2j plus 4 don't forget minus and again minus 1 plus 2j plus 8 into here minus 1 plus 2j whole square minus 9 is equal to 0 this is the magnitude don't forget this is the magnitude is equals to 1 now we will substitute these values we will get we will, we will modify this we will get like this so the value is here minus 1 plus 4 3 plus 2j so k into 3 plus 2j so first is the k into 3 plus 2j in numerator okay so what about denominator in denominator we have minus 1 plus 8 7 7 plus 2j so denominator the first term is 7 plus 2j and what about second term second term is a plus b whole square okay <laughs> by doing this we will get a plus b whole square means 1 minus 4 and minus 4j minus 4j a minus b whole square not a plus b whole square a minus b whole square okay right we will, we will do this we will get this and we are missing the point the point is the minus 9 so we will solve this here k is there and 3 plus 2j is there by 7 plus 2j and this value is 1 minus 4 minus 3 and uh, minus 9 minus 12 minus 4j this value is minus 12 and minus 4j and don't forget it is the magnitude this mod shows the magnitude equal to 1 so by mag by doing this magnitude we will get k constant doing this magnitude this is the 9 plus 4 by and this is under root <coughs> 49 plus 4 under root 144 plus 16 equal to 1 k <coughs> so finally we will get k into under root 13 by root 53 into root 160 equals to 1 ok equals to 1 so why this we will write the k value k value equal root 53 into root 160 by root 13 
So by solving this, we will get finally the k value equal 25.50, 25.50. So this is the k value. So this problem is same as this problem is same as the previous problem. Just he give the open loop transfer function and he mention the unity feedback. That's why we will take direct S value is one. First you write g of s and h of s and substitute this s1 value by solving this we will get the k value okay so these are the uh, a point which are lies on the root locus model problem okay i hope all of you enjoy the session thank you